We're going to take a look at a few cameras today. Casa and Tapo are the same company. Here's where I have them mounted. Okay, we have the Color Pro on the left, day and night, night and day, and the pan tilt, no zoom camera on the right. We're going to look at them all lined up together. Here's the power adapter. Same for two of them. I tried it with a 35 foot extension and didn't seem to lose any power. On screen. Okay, so the very night I installed it, we had some hoodlums come in and terrorize the neighborhood. And this is them going to my neighbor's house. I was completely passed over. We just had a Ford Taurus in the parking lot there in the, the shadows. And they weren't too interested in that. They went straight to my neighbor's truck. Here they came back with a bag full of goodies. That was the camera sound picking up whatever he dropped. Pretty good audio there. Now he's standing about 30 feet away. Is that sidewalk? <gasps> that these work in the Tapo app, um, not the Casa app. So the Casa ports over to Tapo, not the other way around. You can toggle on this feature that allows you to see what it's detecting. It'll put a box around it. So if you get any false alarms, you can see kind of what's triggering that. Nice option to have. They're all on Wi-Fi, nothing hardwired. But the, the ones with the Wi-Fi antennas seem to pick it up a little better. This is the, the Casso cam. So you can kind of see, like, these license plates. You can see the car. You can see the van flip around there. But you're not going to catch your license plate in low light settings. I mean, with any camera, really, it struggles to pick up um, anything in motion. And you'll kind of see that with me creeping up <laughs> the driveway there. Um, all casual like and we'll do that a few different times with different cameras here's the c325 wb um, the color pro this one performs the best in a night setting well color wise i don't know if it actually captures more it just it's nice to switch to the camera and actually see colors um the other thing that I really liked about that is you can have it capture that much light without like the IR infrared lights on like you don't even see the red lights on the camera there's no indication that the camera is on there's there's an LED that you can toggle on or off um, as a setting I like to have them all off and that's kind of why I like that one Here's the tap, here's the Color Pro again at night. Got some fast motion going with the dog, and it captures it all pretty well. And now this is the the pan tilt C five twenty WS with the oh this is not infrared yet. So this is trying to capture without the infrared on so you do get some green you see those leaves um, some trees are green I switch the house lights on here it seems to help a little bit you get some more color the thing I love about the Casa Tapo brand is everything's integrated with my light switches so when the camera detects motion I'll be able to switch on the outside lights. 
And that's kind of why I was looking at these over the other options out there. All right, here's the 520WS with the infrared. So you do see those little red lights. I don't know how many bugs and, and things will be attracted to those, but here it is with the tracking on. So I like this one because it does have, the, <laughs> the whole reason I, I put these up was the deer were eating my plants and I wanted to watch them uh, destroy all the foliage I've just planted. But uh, it <laughs> so happens I, I captured those hoodlums the very first night on the, the Casa cam. Um, but this does have the, the vehicle tracking, the motion tracking, people tracking, and pet tracking which is kind of nice to toggle those on and off the event just so you don't get spammed with motion tracking motion tracking you know it picks up like leaves and you know any motion so it can give you a lot of false alarms it's kind of nice to have some of that those AI features that can distinguish when to send you a notification the color night vision was a nice feature, but I think the Tapo C520WS is the winner with the ability to make the fine tune adjustments with the pan ability. And it also had a little bit better connectivity, even though I plan on hardwiring it with ethernet. And it also has all the notifications that I want. And it's nice to have it work locally on my net network. So you don't actually have to have Wi-Fi. So you, you have to have Wi-Fi, but you don't have to be connected to the internet for these to work. It's nice to have the local micro SD card in each unit that you can stream on your network. Person tracking event was not triggered when they entered. But it did notify me when he was leaving and packing his bag. And then I just went back a little bit and was able to see when they entered. Thanks for the option of the 24-7 recording. You do also have the option of just recording the events. But in this case, it was nice to have it because I would have missed um, them entering. I just also want to note that the SD card just copies over itself. You're not going up and changing out those SD cards. You're able to record locally on your device without taking it out and putting it into your computer. And I don't know if that's something they changed over the years because some of the comments indicate that you had to do that previously. Well, that's not the case in 2024.